Hey guys, welcome to another episode of My Point Three Garage. So we have a lot of projects going on right now, and I figured we would uh, kind of clue you in on kind of what we have going on because we haven't posted videos in a while, except for the new Bronco videos. So, but we have been busy. The content that's coming is insane. Uh, I'm just not putting it all out there until I get it done, so it's not just in pieces. Uh, but anyway, so let's go. There is my lovely wife Mandy and all of our projects. So we're going to give you a kind of a tour of the garage and kind of what we have going on here. Now I want to preface this first by saying that uh, Broncos kind of rule this garage. So most of my videos have been on Broncos. Most of the work that we've done have been on Broncos. But there are a lot of other things that we do kind of on the side just to have fun. We are probably going to add that to the channel just so you know because why not and you know it's not always going to be bronco stuff because we love everything there's so many things that we love and we'll go into that later kind of ambitions but i got some big ambitions for some projects uh, but let's just let's let's step down here and kind of go and take a look at what we got going on so first would be the 1973 ford bronco that most of you know uh as maddie the stormtrooper so maddie the stormtrooper came from matt's garage here on youtube and we bought it two years ago. God, is it, has that already been two years? Uh, it, that's ridiculous. So I thought I would have it done by the summer uh, of the year I bought it. Obviously, my ambitions far outweigh my talent. So we have we have uh, painted it and, and, and we're good to go there. Here are the other parts of that. So we've got the Dana 20, which I literally just pulled out the other day. I'm kind of accounting for parts, making sure that there isn't anything that I'm missing, making sure there isn't anything that needs to be replaced, worn gear, stuff like that. So I can just make one order for parts and, and be done with it. So this is the Dana 20 that's going into the Stormtrooper. Then you come over here and this is the 4R70W that is almost getting done rebuilt. So, so funny story about the, this uh, transmission. We bought a master kit for it and the master kit came Amazon Prime and we have two Huskies which you guys know are Yeti and Denali and they got a hold it anytime the the Prime drivers show up they essentially see the two dogs out in the front yard and they throw the box like a frisbee and the dogs think they're getting played with so they grab the box and they literally shred the box and the contents of the master kit was all over the place it took Mandy I don't know how long how long did it take you to gather all the pieces forever because it was in the dark yeah so she it was in the dark because I think she was afraid to tell me about it because um, the Huskies are kind of a pain in my butt even though I love them both <laughs> as I'm building the transmission I find out that I'm missing parts so we then we go out to the front yard look for parts like it's a junkyard out there and uh, you know we don't find anything so I have to order parts literally every day I gotta order another part order another part funny second thing so the transmission paper filters or the transmission paper gaskets this guy right here see that he likes paper. <laughs> yeah so he he got these the first time so i ordered another kit this is the second kit amazon driver throws it like a frisbee and yeti then grabs it takes it and shreds it again so this is going to be the third kit that i'm going to be buying for this and, and this time i don't know i'll have it shipped to a p.o box or something but we're almost done. The drums are the drums are pretty much done, and I just have to rebuild um, a few other parts, and we're good. I'm going to post a Dana video. I'm going to post a transmission video. It probably will be multiple transmission videos uh, on rebuilding this guy. I'm, I'm, obviously, there's a lot of content here, so I'm going to be throwing all of it out. I just want to do it all together. That's why you haven't seen a lot from me. So I'm going to be dumping it on you probably late March, early April, if I can get this done. And then we have, we have, this is the engine part. This is where the engine uh, resides right here. Uh, you can see we've got the old crank and there are the heads right there. Old piston timing gears. So that said, the uh, the engine was taken down to the machine shop this morning to get the engine the to get the cylinders board out 30 over and the 347 stroking kit uh rotating assembly balanced so they're going to do those two things and then get it back to me and then we're going to do the rest so anyway so that's what i have going on right now for the 73 and as soon as we get 
the engine back in two weeks, the engine block, we're gonna build it so there is another project. And then we're gonna load the chassis with all three pieces, the transfer case, the transmission, and the engine, fuel lines, fuel tank, brake lines, and then we're gonna slide it underneath the body and then we're gonna start wiring, wiring it up. A fuel injection is right under here. So there's all the fuel injection parts. So there, there's another one too. We're gonna be porting the heads and we're gonna be porting the intake. I've got the porting kit on order, so it's coming. I imagine that'll take me about a week to do the heads and a week to do the intake is what I'm thinking, so two weeks there. Then we start on the interior of that. So that, that's project number one. Yeah, project number two, which used to be project number one, is the Bronco to be named later. This is a 74, this was the original Bronco that we had. And um, just like the old girlfriend, when the new girlfriend came along, the old girlfriend got kicked out. So now we have the Stormtrooper and uh, the, the Bronco to be named later is going to uh, sit there until we can get this one done and then we're gonna finish up on this. But the cool thing about this one, the cool thing about this one. It's done. Is the motor is done, the transmission is done, the transfer case is done, the fuel lines are done, and the brake lines are done on the chassis. So literally, all we have to do is wire this up, finish the dash, do the interior. The suspension has been rebuilt. Oh yeah, I forgot, we gotta paint it too, so we gotta do all the body work. So the bottom of this one is done, and this is a 351 Windsor. Mandy rebuilt it, so she's she's got that. She's got that done. So this one will get done as well. But let's get into, uh, outside this door, we have the 83 Wagoneer, which I'm not gonna talk much about because it is literally the bane of my existence at this point. I've rebuilt the transmission, which I did in a previous video, because it won't move forward, and now it won't even start, and it's just a problem. So it's gonna wait to last. But then we picked up another fetish. So this fetish is motorcycles. This is mine. Yeah, so we got a lot of motorcycles here. We picked all of these up starting last June, July? Yeah. Last July. Uh, because I used to ride motorcycles in college and I needed to have them again and then it just Mandy kind of took over and uh, and she started buying them and it became a problem. So what we have here is a 1981 Suzuki GS 550. This one was going to be Mandy's but it's a little bit chunky. It's a little heavy. heavy. Everything uh, runs. I'm gonna, <laughs> this thing was the chip special. When you see it before we did all of this, I've got video from last summer that we haven't posted yet. This thing was the coolest bike I've ever seen in my life and it was more fun to ride than anything I've ever ridden. Uh, and then we tore it all down and we were gonna cafe it out. But then Yeti, again, <laughs> Yeti found the seat and shredded it. So now our cafe seat is gone and it doesn't really matter anyway because Mandy, it's, it's really too heavy for Mandy even though I love it. So we'll get to that here in just a second. Well, actually, now we'll fast forward. So this one was in the summer, so we're gonna fast forward to last week. We went and we bought this. We drove all night to pick it up and then drove all day back the next day with no sleep to get this back in the garage. But this is a 1968. Honda CL. Uh, Honda CL uh, 180. 175. 175, 175. It is in worse condition than we thought the engine is seized, which we have right over here. The engine is seized, so we're soaking it right now and we're gonna bang those pistons out, probably bore it and uh, rebuild it, put it back together again. Uh, but this would probably be just the right weight for Mandy to ride. She's not gonna cafe it out. No, I want it, no. She wants a bone stock. So this one's gonna be a bone stock, but we'll probably upgrade some things just to make it more rideable. But that's where the Shiner comes in. Let me see the Shiner. All right, so yeah, Mandy was trying to get the motor out and uh, the cheetah bar slipped and put a pretty nasty gash around her eye and almost took her eyeball out. So when we get back over to here, my fetish for motorcycles is 80s and 90s sport bikes. So this was a dream bike of mine and I couldn't afford it. I had a a CBR, but it was a like a 600. This one is a the CBR 900 RR from 1993. It is one of my dream bikes. I picked it up on the cheap. It has been laid down 
I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's been laid down right there. Uh, it's got some damage, but it runs, and I, I drove it last summer, so it, it's a good bike. It just needs a new fairing kit, needs to be taken care of. We rebuilt the carbs on it and uh, got it running. My next project bike is the ZX7. This was a 2000 ZX7. Uh, it doesn't look like much right now, but when it's done, it's going to be the sexiest thing that ever lived. It basically was stolen. Uh, you can see, let me pull all the parts out, but the, you can see the ignition's been cut out of it and it's been dropped. It was hammered on the side right here. The thing is just in tatters. Uh, so I don't even know if the engine will turn over or not, but that's going to be a summer project. And then this is the uh, everybody's favorite Trail 90 right here. We picked up the Trail 90 because Mandy wanted to learn how to ride, but this thing was just too much meat. So we thought, you know, let's go with the opposite end of the scale. Let's get a, let's get a, uh, a Trail 90. And I tell you what, this thing has been an absolute blast. We have so much fun on this bike. I take my uh, littlest one, Brighton, out on it. My oldest daughter has ridden it a couple of times, but it's just too much fun. Uh, if you ever find a Trail 90 somewhere, grab you can pick them up for a thousand to three thousand dollars. You need to grab it. it. It's it's just too much fun. Plus, we had a CBR 600, and I drove that around all summer. It actually was the matching bike to this bike. It was the same color scheme, same year, same everything, but it's a 600, and uh, and it was mechanically perfect. But because it's mechanically perfect and I can't own a mechanically perfect thing, we had to sell it. So we sold it and then we ended up buying this guy right here. So, uh, but I've also got my eye on like five other sport bikes are kind of in and out of the market. I'm just kind of looking at it a little bit, uh, but I will have at some point, this entire wall is going to be all motorcycles. And then my long-term goal is to put racking in here and like put them on the wall and like store them for the ones that I'm not gonna be riding a lot. Now, that's the side project, that's not my main project. Obviously, Broncos are our main, kind of our soul, so that, that will always be there. If we end up getting rid of one of these in order to buy another one to restore it, then we will definitely do that because we love Broncos that much. We also have outside, and I'm not gonna go outside and show you all these cars, because I think most of you have already seen them, but. We picked up a YJ last year. There's a video on the YJ. It, we got it and it was like really good, but the clear coat has faded a lot and the wheels need to, that dark khaki color on the wheels needs to be repainted. Uh, so we're gonna do that. that. That Jeep is so cool. Like it's a five speed. It literally will, you can park it in the small space. We actually park it on our sidewalk and it fits. It's like the craziest thing. And then we picked up a 2013 Raptor, which you have also seen. There's also a video on that. I was going to do a lot of content on Raptors, but I've just been too busy with these, so maybe more later. We have a new Bronco coming. Obviously, you know about the new Bronco that's coming. I've been talking about that a lot and some frustrating things that are coming up that I just found out about that Bronco we're going to um, talk about here in a few days. We got the heater, which I did a video on, and uh, that thing has been a lifesaver. So right now, I'm in short sleeves. Uh, there is a full-on blizzard going on outside. Uh, right now. <laughs> also guys, I want to give a shout out to the Colorado Early Bronco group uh, That's on Facebook. Uh, if you guys aren't already looking at that, you might ought to uh, But they put out a calendar this year uh, I don't know if it's the first calendar they put out or not, but uh, man, it's it's awesome. There are some really Freaking good-looking Broncos in this thing. That, that picture's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Drive-in theater And you know your my point three garage uh, boys and girls made this thing. Where's our picture? Oh. There it is. All right, so there it is. Like you can't even tell it's a Bronco, but that's the <laughs> that's the picture that we submitted. And kudos, kudos to these guys. It's not even a done Bronco, and they still put it in the calendar. So yeah, thank you very sorry. much, guys. Appreciate that <laughs> a lot. And you know, we're just a husband and wife team that just have a good time in the shop. We do these videos because we love to do it. We love we do it because maybe some people find some value in it, either in entertainment or in you know, for some other reason. Every time you hit that subscribe button and the like button and you comment, that makes us feel a lot better uh, about what we're doing and we really appreciate the feedback, even if it's negative feedback. Also, we have a couple of t-shirts that I'll throw up on the screen now. My favorite one are the fossil fuels line that's coming out. So check out the fossil fuels line. We have one out there now, but there's probably five or six more coming and celebrate fossil fuels. We love our early Broncos and our motorcycles. All right, babe, what else? 
think that's it. Let's start some projects. <laughs> we need to start them. Yeah, we've already started all of them. We, we need to, hey, let's finish some projects. That is a wrap for Mop Point 3 Garage. And that's a wrap for Mop Point 3 Garage. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.